it's a rare disorder. Uh, how rare is hard for us to say because traditionally the diagnosis was made by kidney biopsy. It's an entity that classically has been defined by this lesion in the kidney where a portion of the glomerulus, the filtering unit of the kidney is sclerosed so that the capillary loops are closed. And it's counterintuitive because global sclerosis, sclerosis of the entire glomerular tuft is sort of a normal feature with aging. And it doesn't have nearly the bad prognosis as this focal scarring. What we've learned is that it was defined, you know, because the science was a little bit lagging by this appearance in pathology. And now we know that it's probably a heterogeneous disorder. It's a final common pathway of injury mediated by a whole bunch of different, you know, um, pathways of glomerular inflammation and uh, injury. It'll present, it comes to medical attention in patients who are either found to have proteinuria or what we call nephrotic syndrome, which is lots of proteinuria, which is accompanied by hypoalbuminemia, low blood um, albumin concentration, high cholesterol, and most importantly, swelling or edema. When they present off the GFR, the level of kidney function is usually within the normal range. This scarring, this focal segmental scarring is the characteristic lesion. You only need to have one filtering unit with this abnormality to make the diagnosis. So people can be picked up relatively early in the disease. However, the problem is we have very few things that can alter the natural history of the disease. Most patients with FSGS will probably get a course of steroids, corticosteroids, and the only KDGO guideline with pretty poor evidence to back it is a calcineurin inhibitor. And me, Howard Trackman, I would advocate that if you're a nephrologist or a community physician taking care of a patient like this, you should try your best to get them to a quality center with an academic center to, that is engaged in clinical research because I think that's, that's really what's the, the most viable options for patients that have not gotten better in response to steroids or calcineurin inhibitors. And that's the only way that we're going to make progress the way forward with this disease. And the only other point that I would also advocate is to ensure that patients are given access to high quality advocacy, excuse me, advocacy groups like Nefcure Kidney International, because these provide very, very meaningful support to patients and sort of make them aware of progress and opportunities for research that are ongoing in the nephrology community.